Okay, so then um, our electric field then should be lambda over 2 pi r epsilon naught. Two k lambda over r, right? That would be just fine. Now, what if we sketched this graph? What would it look like? Electric field versus distance. And it isn't e proportional to one over r? Doesn't that kind of look like that? Okay, good stuff. Now we have a sheet of uniformly charged, distributed charge, sigma, a distance d from the sheet. Okay, so this is a little bit different because the symmet symmetry is a little bit um, harder to understand and I'm, I apologize and I will do my best but imagine I'm drawing a sheet that you can see from the edge okay so there's like an edge of a, of a sheet there and um, it's got a uniformly distributed charge on it so there's charge all over this sheet um, we, for the sake of the problem, we'll say that they're positive. It doesn't really matter if they're positive or negative. The only thing that will change is the direction of the electric field. Okay, so imagine they're little positive charges. Now, and if it's, if it's infinite, if it's a huge sheet, then this sheet goes on forever and ever in all dimensions. Okay, so imagine that it's just a really big sheet or that D is really small, like we're really close to... So, like, your piece of paper could seem infinite if you are really close to it. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, so, we're going to have a little place out here where we want to find the electric field. Now, the symmetry here is a little bit hard. Sometimes it's called a Gaussian pillbox, but sometimes, um, but I, I haven't, that does, it's not in your book. It was in a book that I had in college. So, anyway, our Gaussian surface is we're just going to look at a chunk of this because wouldn't a chunk of this sheet have the same electric field as the chunk over here and a chunk over there? All right, so imagine that I can draw something that looks cool, but imagine that I've got a cylinder where, and then on the back side you can't see this because it's behind, so I'm drawing little dotty lines, and then over here is our the other side because doesn't the electric field of this sheet point in this direction and you can't see it because it's behind the sheet and that direction right when it point in both directions you've got a sheet of charge the point in two directions now this one actually winds up being pretty easy okay the charge enclosed over epsilon naught is equal to the closed surface integral of the electric field dotted with the little bit of area that is perpendicular to the electric field. And so I have this charge, surface charge density. So that would be the charge that's enclosed over the little area that we have enclosed. So we'll just call this A. I'll label this A. So wouldn't this be A here if I made it symmetrical and A there? A here, A there. So then the charge enclosed by our Gaussian pillbox or Gaussian surface, whatever you want to call it, is sigma A. All right, since there are two areas, one here and one there, I need a 2A there, actually. So I'll put a 2 back right there. So now let's make our substitution. Sigma 2A over epsilon naught is equal to, now my electric field is perpendicular to the area, so this will be E, and the area is A. So then what's our electric field? 